Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. I'm going to do it like that. So 20k on these mowers. I'm, I'm thinking that really we want mowers that go a little bit faster than this. I mean, eventually we'll go and get one of the big self-propelled mowers and, and we won't have any issues at all with how fast we're mowing. But right now... We're stuck with this, which is a little bit slow. I'm sure we could do better than this. And we've also got the tip collision issue right here next to the rail, which I really don't like. There's this, this little bit right here. I really don't like the fact that we've got this whole tip collision thing going on. It irritates me. And... On round there like that. Prob I, I always go too close to this wall. I shouldn't be going this close. Um, the only way that I'm going to stop myself from doing that is if I use the uh, ground painting and I basically paint all the way around it so that I don't have any grass there to cut. Which would probably be a sensible thing for me to go and do. Because I know what I'm like. So I, I should probably like take that into account. I already know what sort of person I am. I already know that I tend to get overly greedy when I'm trying to do my mowing and so on. And try to just take that extra little blade of grass every single time. So if I don't have the blade of grass there in the first place, it would make life a lot easier for me. It would definitely make things considerably easier. Now, we'll bring you up here. I'm not going to swerve out round for once and try and get everything out there. I'm going to... But what I will do is... Is she going to reverse this one back up? Like that. And... That's covering the edge of the field now. And then we'll start working our way through. Okay. That's a lot better. That's a lot, lot better there. And over and around we go. All the way out to this side. And then I'm going to sort of stop at about this point. Maybe we'll go out a little bit more. Uh, no, I'm hoping actually that should be all right. It's not going to quite get all the way down to the edge of where I've been cutting down the other end. So we'll have to do a little bit of tidy up down there afterwards, I think. But generally, we should be right just to leave it now. Let me go back and have a look at how the combine is getting on. We've got, we can also carry on with the bailing as well, can't we? Oh, the, what are you, oh, I see what he's doing. I wonder what on earth was going on there for a minute. As I'm here, though, now that I think about it, we come out like this. He's going to come on over. He's going to lower down. He's going to go forward a bit. He's going to pick up. He's going to go forward a bit. doesn't really know what he wants to do. Uh, so I will start, start. Should drop them both down. There we go. And just get that bit. And then if I go back over here like this, we can do another pass along this bottom end. And then this field is good to go. I have got a little bit greedy with this field, I think, when I was plowing it out. Once we get a little bit more grass underway, we'll probably come back through and change this one so that we don't have as much. Uh, we don't have it up to the bottom end of the field here quite as tight as what I've got it at the moment. Because that's one of the reasons that this field, we've got to sort of nurse the hired help round a lot more than we do on any of the others. So I'm just going to bring you over there and then off you trot. There you go. Right, we'll leave him to it. That was good timing. You back over here. And I've only got to do two passes up across this field, and it's finished. Okay, I can cope with that. I will go into here, and this time what I'm going to try is I'm just going to try with the normal AI, and we'll see how that gets on with this combine. Right on there like that. 
Uh, might be a bit more. Might not quite do it in the two passes. But we'll watch the combine go up across the field here to do this. And then we can jump onto that baler and get started there. Uh, we've got the trailer over in the field for gathering up the bales. And then we're going to start thinking about doing our next planting. And what I'm actually thinking is if we, once the baling is done, we could actually go round with fertilizer spinners first. Spread fertilizer. Don't know if you can... I don't think you can do that and then plant and then do the uh, fertilizer again. I don't think you can, can you? I don't think that's an option. Hmm. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. So uh, the other thing that we're going to want is after doing the grass, we're going to want to be doing a bit of muck spreading, slurry spreading. And to do that, we're going to want a slurry spreader, slurry tank right here. The one that we was looking at, the ones we was that the one us was looking at was this one wasn't it 20,000 liters right hang on a minute you see we have a slight issue so it's probably going to take it all in one pass all the way down across the field apart from this little bit here it does look like it is actually going to get all of it I'll bring that right over like that. It is going to get all of it. Okay, we'll run with that. I thought maybe I'd have to like split it in half or something, but it doesn't look like I'm going to need to do that. So, yeah, the slurry tankers, we were kind of thinking the greenhouse right here because this has also got the coloring so that we can have the wonderful pink on there that we want to get is a 20,000 liter one and then we can boost the speed up but we don't have anything to increase capacity beyond 20,000 liters which is a little bit disappointing um the other problem is oh no the 180 horsepower is not a problem so and that one it will just spread as it is 15 meter wide spreader on it uh, I could go with this Samson right here, but unfortunately that one does require a considerable boost in power. And you've got to have one of these on. And this bar right here is 36 meters wide and it is basically is a bit of a pain to use. So I find that one to be a little bit frustrating at times. I'd rather have something in the middle. I'd, I'd rather have something that, like, well, preferably without a bar. I'd rather have, like, a sprayer on it. You know, something that was spraying the stuff out the back. So, at the moment, we don't have mega capacity. This one here, again, it doesn't have increased capacity option on it. But, he, not that bean house. He had another one. I haven't actually got that one on here. That's why it's not here. Uh, so it'd be that one. 76,000 euros to get. And uh, the Veenhouse Premium Integral 2. I need to make sure that I update that mod. Pretty sure that's a Stevie one. Although it doesn't say Stevie. I just need to make sure that I update it. Because I'm also pretty sure that he would have a larger capacity available. Because he did a whole load of them. Where he basically just slapped out all of the machines that he could with color options but he didn't add anything else to them so he didn't go and put uh, things like uh, extra capacities and other little tweaks and that onto the machines first he just did really really quickly pushed out as many of them as he could so that you would have all the base game machines with extra color options and a couple of other little tweaks as well and then he went back through and he reworked them a lot more and did a lot more work on them. And then you sort of started getting round two of all of them, which was color options, capacity options, and all sorts. So um, I don't know if that's like his standard MO, if he's going to do that with FS22. I really, really hope Stevie is going to be doing stuff on FS22. Um I don't have a link to Stevie's Facebook page. I don't well, I don't think I do in the description. If I don't, there is a link to my Discord. Um, 
please, if you're interested in the Stevie stuff at all, all of these with the color options, speed, and capacity, and everything, um, go onto the Discord, and there is a link on my Discord to Stevie's Facebook page, and that's where he does everything from. He doesn't release them anywhere else. He puts them all onto the Facebook page. I am looking for that, is what I'm looking for. Um, he doesn't release them anywhere else. He puts everything via his Facebook page, and... He's got download links there. You can actually, if you want to... Okay, don't go and do that. If you want to, you can go and get the Stevie links. Wait a minute. Is he going to do this as one big field? Because he's coming over this way. What's he doing here? That is the weirdest thing I have ever seen. And I've seen the AI extension do some very weird things. What are you doing? Okay, I know he's heading off that way. Uh, so, yeah, there are plenty... That, like, Stevie has got all of the links on his Facebook page... I uh, believe he does all the machines as a one big uh, package download as well. Um, and he's got a Patreon page as well, I believe, where you can go and support him. And I think you get, if you do support him on Patreon, uh, you get early access to the mods and so on. Um, and he puts, he's, he's currently working on another map the last... Uh, I think I've seen an update this morning or yesterday. So there's a, a new map that he's doing or he's, he's updating a map and there's a whole load of testing going on with it at the moment. So um, there's there's more stuff coming from him. He's he does the map making. He does all sorts. So he, he does he he's a man of many talents, is Stevie apparently, and so he's got a lot of stuff going on there. Now what we want to do is we want to carry on and do a little bit more bailing right here. With our 27k bailing. Now, have I already increased the speed on the bailing? I think I did. I think this is already dialed up to the maximum. But what I am going to do is I'm going to bring it round and I'm going to check it. Because if it will go faster... 4,943 in sold bales. Don't drive over that with a baler if you want to keep your bales. <laughs> if you can't bale in the chamber. There was two bales in there. Let's repair the tractor. Repair that one. And then we'll go to customize. It's already at the working speed. as m uh, Maximum working speed that it can have. Right. 27 is max. I reckon that we could go faster than that. I reckon if I was to make some alterations, I could actually have it going faster than that. But I've just gone and lost two bales. I'm slightly annoyed about. I want you to keep them all. But oh, it's a little bit more money, I suppose. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, because the forage wagon goes a bit faster than this doesn't it i reckon that we would be all right to increase so i might go into this mod and tweak the original speed now whether or not it's gonna interfere with this particular baler i don't know um and we will see when i come back to doing some more recording so i'm gonna be stopping recording pretty soon and i'm going to so i'll be able to do that i'll also, double check the Stevie mod as well. So I've got the Stevie mod that I want to check, and I'm going to increase the speed on this so that it matches the forage wagon speed. I think it's 35k. I'll check that a second. We've got the forage wagon up there. Uh, we'll be doing the hay as bales as well. We, we've got this as bales. We'll be doing the hay as bales. The only thing that we'll be using the forage wagon for is going to be picking up um, grass for silage. Because uh, we also want a bigger rake, don't we? I have updated. I've got the, the, the good rake. The, the one that I actually really quite like, which is... Let me just go there a second. 
Uh, nope, not in there. I'm going to go in here. Windrowers. And we go over here. This one, I've updated this one now. I'm hoping that this one will work well and we'll be able to use that. If we can, I used to use this one for doing all of my hay in the little tiny fields. Definitely overkill. Definitely worth it. It was awesome. I used to love using that one in there. Right, so there's our first bale that we've gotten out. The reason I was a bit disappointed about selling the bale of straw, the two bales that were in the baler, was because I want to be testing out that trailer that we got over there. Which means that we need 20 bales on the ground to be able to do it, and I just went and lost two of them. Uh, we've done nine. Actually, that oh, that uh, was nine. It's 10, 11, 12 over there. That's going to say 12. Yeah, 12. So those two, as soon as it took them out of the baler, it then counted the game, then counted them. It hadn't counted them prior to that. It did count them once we'd removed them from the baler. So that means that we've only got to get another eight, which shouldn't be too difficult. I reckon that we will, once we've done this bit, we will have all of it. So helper I has completed the task. That is the mowing finished. And I'm just going to run up here along the top and then we will skip over and take a look at the forage wagon and just double check the speed that we get on that one because we're going to want that speed being reflected on this baler right here and i thought that bale 20,000 liters so we got like a bale it was right down the other end so one bale per row yeah pretty much one bale a row and it dumped it right out on the corner. I thought it was actually going to block where I need to go back in again for the next row. Fortunately, it didn't. It was just out. But it was pretty close to it. That's just generally the sort of thing that happens. Right, so we will stop you right there a minute. And then we will go. So you are finished. You've actually finished everything perfectly. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to start driving this one back. And I'm going to switch over and I'm going to start folding up the mower as well. Our next job is going to be doing some turning. Uh, do I or don't I manually go around the edge of the field and tidy in the sides? I think I ought to, really. Takes a little bit of extra time to just do that run around the edge, but... Actually, what? I, I've got that rake. So I, I haven't sped it up at all, though, have I? I don't think I have. Something that we're going to want, something that I'm going to do, is we're going to have a workshop over here. We need a workshop over on this side. So I'm not going to worry about it for a second. I will unhook that a bit later, and then we can change that one. We're going to want to put a workshop in... Uh, that was too many passes. I'll be alright doing this. I'm just going to let that one carry on. I'm not even going to bother changing it. So I want to go to you. Like this, I'm going to start it right now. And then I'm going to start driving and we'll see how fast he goes. It is 34. Did he reach 35? Right. He does 34, 35k. So I can have the baler doing the same. So if I go and have a look at the base... It's saying 34. Does that mean that the base speed is 27? I'm going to have a look at that. So let's bring you over to here like this. Let me just stop you there for a second. Uh, I'm going to want a workshop here, so if we empty those two, we could put a workshop over there so that we can start altering some of the machinery. I want to have a look in here. I'll go to the garage first and uh, have a look at some of the stuff that we've tweaked speed on. And we know that we've definitely tweaked speed on. So I've got this one here by Stevie, okay? That says 30, and I'm doing 34k with it. So I increase the speed a little bit. This one is saying 20, and I'm doing 27k with that one. So I know that I can increase the speed further. Uh, I'm going to go with 30k on that one to start with. So I'll increase it, and then we'll tweak it with the 
machine a bit later. So I don't actually know how much we've increased it by. There's no way of telling just in here. But we know that that one is 30k is the base speed, which means in theory the baler should be as well. And there is a quick way that we can find this out, because Stevie has done some balers. Stevie balers. It's round bale. That's the Arcusan one there. That's just colour options on that one. Right, that one is by Stevie. and does 27 that one is by Stevie. That does 27 as well. Then maybe that's why I put them on 27. Ducky's one here. You got that one by Stevie. Stevie didn't change the wrapping speed. Ducky on his version over here, he changed the wrapping speed on the back of the baler as well so that you could put the bales through just that little bit faster. Uh, yeah, 27 he's put his balers up to. So we'll also... We'll put it to 27, and then we could go up to 34 after that with the variable speed mod, which should be okay. So whether or not that's going to be work, I don't know, but we'll test it. Alrighty then. I have made an alteration to the speed of the baler, which we will go and test out in a bit. I'm not going to do it just yet, because I'd actually like to get some of the other stuff going so first up we're going to come down here like this and then I'm gonna go like that get the AI vehicle extension heading off into that field going around and around and then while that one goes and does that we are going to go to this one and we're going to start doing the turning so I'm just gonna do a quick once around at the edge of all three fields and then I will let's just do that uh, then I will set the hired help going in the middle of the field working its way back through all of them at least that's the plan so we're gonna bring you back over here and dump that uh, oops no uh, dump that off there and then I will and back and around and I will go to that one excellent now in theory I should just be able to unfold this bad boy put the wheels into the correct working position which is going to be over here somewhere like this so I've got to put those out and then I'm going to lower it down like that and then we can move the wheels into the correct working position Bring it forward a bit and start it up. And now I just got to go around the outside edge of the field, which won't actually take very long. And then once we've done that, we move on to the next one. And just to save us a little bit of time, we're not even going to bother lifting it up off the ground. Because when you get to the new field, you've then got to put it back down on the ground. You've got to readjust your wheels for working the outside round. And it's lots and lots of work, and uh, yeah, we can't be bothered. I mean, yeah, actually, it's not all that much work, considering that everything is done from inside the cab with this bad boy. Whereas the old hay turners that you used to get, you could get some that were like, they were completely trailed. You put them on the um, tow hitch rather than on the three-point links. And yeah, I know I've missed a bit right there. Uh, let me just stop that one. Um... You could put them on the three-point links. Uh, you put you really didn't want to do. See, it's gonna straighten the wheels. I didn't want that to happen. That that was the whole point of this was that that wasn't supposed to happen. It's supposed to stay where it is, so that the wheels stay at that angle. So yeah, the old ones. Um, I did. I think have one old centipede turner that went on the tow hitch and it was, well on the drawbar and it's um you could turn the wheels you could lock them at an angle for the outside round but most of them didn't uh you had different types uh I used to use one that had four rotors on it but I did see some with six rotors on them, so it was slightly bigger. And they all worked on the same principle. When you finished the field and you needed to move them, you got out of the cab and then you undid some pins. And you kind of moved them round a bit and 
then you put the pins in to transfer you, you you pull the pin out and then you manually move the the rotors around so that they were sort of in a double line behind you and put the pins back in so that they were held in transport position and you drove up the road or just you know along the lane with the folded up like that behind you and then when you wanted to get going in the next field you then got out and instead of it being in a two by two formation directly behind you you then unfolded it and we'll you know sort of pushed them out again into work positions so that you had the four in a line behind you like this one is or in the case of you know the six then it was six in a line so and the centipede turners were really, really good. They were simple. There was very, very little to go wrong on them. Um, and about the only issue you ever had was just replacing the occasional tine when they broke. Um, I've heard people say that tines don't break on a hay turner unless you're mistreating them. Those people have never worked with a hay turner on really rough ground. Um, you're going to end up losing tines. And... The way that you make sure the tines don't come off and get left behind in the field in order to break the mower the next time round is you put a piece of string through it and it goes through all the tines. Now, I've worked with people who've spent um, years without having a single tine break off and they genuinely believe that it is through skill of being a really good driver and yes, to a certain extent, being a good driver does help the situation, but it's not the be-all and end-all. If you live on a farm that has got very rough ground, you break tines every single day. It doesn't matter how fast or slow you go with the hay turner, you're still going to break tines. Now, if you've got really rough ground, you don't want to go fast anyway, um, but I have genuinely heard people say the only way you can break a tine on a hay turner is if you mistreat it and you... Um, you driving irresponsibly fast and things like that. Uh, that might be the case if your farm is perfectly flat ground. I mean, even like perfectly, it doesn't have to be level, but just, you know, smooth, smooth ground. Level or um, without lots of rough ground in the field, then yeah, that's fine. If you've got rough ground and you're, you, you sort of bounce up and down unless you're going a complete crawl across your field, then you're going to break times. And I've worked on both kinds of farms. So you work on the one farm where they say that it's only irresponsible drivers who break times. The idea of putting a piece of string through the hay turner so that it goes through the top of every single one of the times is just... A foreign concept. The whole idea is just completely ridiculous because why would you need to do that? If you're driving sensibly, you're not going to break the tines, so you don't need to worry about it. Um, and I actually got told, no, I'm not going to be putting something like that on there. Um, if a tine breaks, they're going to want to know what I've been doing to mistreat their machine. Um, which I thought was a little bit daft because if you have, like, eventually these tines break anyway. But anyway, that, that bit aside, that's, that's just my bitterness coming back after many, many years of, um, you know, just, just laying dormant there. Um, unresolved issues and all that sort of thing. Um, other farms where they expect you to break tines on a regular basis because of the rough fields, you run a piece of string through each of the tine Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.